Hello guys and welcome aboard to the start of a new series. To kick off this Stormworks Showcase series, I'm going to be starting with none other than the Octan Tanker. Now this is one mean money making ship here. I probably used it the most out of any Stormworks ship. Um, what it features is fairly good speed, 24 knots top speed, which for a tanker is great. It comes with 150,000 liters of fuel. Uh, as far as the actual tank capacity and the internal capacity is 500,000 liters of fuel. Or 50,000, my bad. Now, as I mentioned before, it runs at about 24 knots, but if you set her down to 19 knots, it does have a 250 kilometer range. And it even has a spot for a helipad on the front. And I always like to throw in a little personal helicopter in case I need to go island hopping or, you know, need to get off the boat without having to dock up. So that's really nice. It does have two life rafts on either side. So let's go ahead and hop on and check out this this boat. If we'll go ahead and start at the bottom. We can see down here we've got the engine room with some uh some generator stuff. I guess this is what's powering the ship. And hopping on up. We got a few bedrooms here. A medical bay shower another bedroom and here's where all the action happens up here at the top so at the back we do have a circuit breaker board which I really like this feature it's really neat we've got a little back deck out here ooh this is new what is this huh maybe a little observation post Again, towards the back, we do have the little weather station here. It's pretty nice just to have a heads up of the weather. And then moving towards the front, we have our helm. So we can go ahead and get the engine started here. On the right side of that is actually where we have our spot to refuel uh, the tanker at. And this tanker has individual hatches so you can kind of see them right there all these little hatches and that's where you're going to put the fuel in the fuel is actually in separate tanks it's not just one big tank so you can kind of separate the weight and distribute that properly and for each of the tanks it just has a simple pump in and pump out and you will take the fuel and you'll connect it just under those doors there's a spot to connect it and you'll turn on a pump down here and then you'll turn on this pump up here and you'll start pumping fuel in it has um, left and right thrusters because this is a big ship it does have reverse um, on the left side here you just got your basic information some ballast We've got our radar here, a map, autopilot, and then just some nice information like uh, fuel consumptions in liters per hour, liters per 100 kilometers, and then our total fuel here. Towards the top, we have our anchors, our lights, speed, compass ball, clock, and the horn. Oh, I didn't even know you could scuttle this ship. Okay, so I guess you can scuttle it if you need, if you've got some classified information on board. You need to get rid of the ship. There is also this uh, little crane here that you can hook up to and refuel through the crane into each of the different hatches, but 
typically I never use it I just hook up to the the doors alright let's go ahead and hop down in here and see how oh my gosh <laughs> I missed alright I'll be back when I'm back up at the bridge okay guys I'm back alright let's get this puppy rolling Ooh. Looks like I didn't get the helicopter tied on too well. Running 22 knots empty other than the helicopter and on flat seas. Let's go ahead and try turning to the left without the thrusters. Okay, so it can be slow. Let's go ahead and try turning to the right with the front thruster. It's getting a little better, but it's not too noticeable. So there you have it, guys, the Octan Tanker. This is one of my favorite Stormworks creations. I'll have the workshop link to this ship in the description below if you guys want to go check it out. It's a great money maker. My only complaint is, is that it takes absolutely forever to refuel this thing. Um, in terms of getting your fuel in to actually go and sell and then of course getting it back out the fuel transfer rate right in this game is atrocious it takes hours but that's more so a problem with the game not necessarily the ship thank you guys for watching if you liked the video go ahead and like and subscribe it really does help me out a lot i'll catch you guys next time